Hello and welcome back. This is Lake Tahoe Television News. The city of South Lake Tahoe has reported its third murder of the year, this coming in the early morning hours of Wednesday the 14th. Now, according to the police report, a woman called 911 saying her son, 32-year-old Sean Paul Andrew McIntyre, had just stabbed a family member, 57-year-old Shirley Gordon, as she slept on a couch. This happened in a home on Wildwood Avenue, south of Pioneer Trail. Police responded and found the suspect inside the home and arrested him, while medical responders tried to revive the victim. She was brought to Barton Memorial Hospital, where she was declared dead. Detectives later got a search warrant on the home and are now sifting through evidence and interviewing witnesses. Meanwhile, the suspect, Sean Paul McIntyre, has been booked into El Dorado County Jail on a charge of first-degree murder. Also in South Lake Tahoe, police say a local resident was accused of drunk driving after he drifted over the center line on Lake Tahoe Boulevard and crashed into another car. 39-year-old Dara Siev reportedly drove his Dodge Durango head-on right into a car that was waiting to take a left turn. The crash injured a mother and two kids, aged 8 and 4, who were visiting Lake Tahoe from Pennsylvania. They were transported to Barton Memorial with non-life-threatening injuries. The suspect was not injured in the collision. Siev was arrested for felony DUI and booked into El Dorado County Jail. Now, with Labor Day coming up, law enforcement will be conducting saturation DUI patrols around South Lake Tahoe for the next three weekends. Look for increased patrols and DUI checkpoints on weekend nights from about 10 o'clock at night to 3 or 4 in the morning. A stolen motorcycle has led officers to arrest a man, not for the motorcycle theft, but for several vacation rental burglaries. 26-year-old South Lake Tahoe resident Eric Beeman was seen by officers hanging around a motorcycle that was stolen. Beeman reportedly walked away from the bike when officers were in the area on another matter. Later, after officers identified the motorcycle as stolen, they caught up with Beeman at a house on Armstrong Avenue, but he wouldn't answer the door. After a search warrant was served, police discovered items which had been reported stolen from several vacation rentals. Beeman was then arrested. Police also believe they know who stole the motorcycle, and they're now seeking an arrest warrant for that person. Phase 3B of the Truckee River Legacy Trail will break ground on Monday, August 26th. This segment of the trail will connect the end of Phase 3A, near the wastewater treatment plant by the Truckee River, to the Glenshire area, a stretch of about two miles. The new stretch of Legacy Trail will cross over property currently owned by the Forest Service, Sanitation District, and the town of Truckee. Now, when the entire trail system is eventually completed, walkers and bike riders will be able to travel all the way from Glenshire to Donner Lake. The Truckee Trails Foundation is sponsoring its inauguration of an annual Larry Sage Memorial Bike Ride. Now, Larry Sage was an outdoorsman and avid cyclist. He taught anatomy and physiology, and he had a 20-year career with the County Environmental Health Department. Larry died after a cycling accident on Donner Pass Road back in July of 2012. The memorial bike ride will start out at Paco's Bike Shop in Truckee. It'll head up to Cisco and come back. There will also be music and a free lunch. You can register for the ride just by going to the Truckee Trails Foundation website and clicking on the link. That's it for now from the Lake Tahoe Television News Studio. I'm Robert G. Scott.